The 25-year-old soldier sat quietly in the courtroom three years after his arrest for downloading more than 700,000 files, including diplomatic cables, and sending them to WikiLeaks. Prosecutors laid out a detailed timeline for the former intelligence analyst's actions. Captain Joe Morrow said an arrogant Manning used his training, quote, to seek the notoriety he craved. The court was told that at WikiLeaks' request, Manning forwarded the names, positions, and personal information of more than 74,000 U.S. military members in Iraq. While Manning has admitted guilt on 10 charges, the prosecution focused on the most serious count, which he denied, consciously aiding the enemy and endangering U.S. national security. Osama bin Laden personally requested and received the military's entire Afghan database from the WikiLeaks dump, the prosecution argued. Manning's lawyer countered, the private was motivated not by sympathy for the enemy, but by humanitarian instincts. He called Manning young, naive, but well-intentioned. As for his release of a 2009 video showing an airstrike which killed civilians in Afghanistan, driven by his desire to make the world a better place. Supporters of Manning demonstrated outside the army base where the court convened, as well as in other locations around the country. I stand out here as a witness. I stand out here in support of Bradley Manning. I hope he knows that there's many people that are uh, support him and uh, want the best for him and th think he deserves to be freed. In rendering her judgments, military judge Denise Lind will have to determine whether Manning had consciously aided the enemy. It is something the prosecution must do. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a high bar, a high legal bar the threshold to cross, and we'll see as this case unfolds mm. whether they make the case or not. The first of 140 prosecution witnesses were called this first day of the trial to be followed by 46 more for the defense. But much of their testimony will be classified and behind closed doors. And so a number of media organizations have petitioned the court for an official transcript. That's something the judge so far has refused. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Fort Meade, Maryland.